Well, hey there, guys. My name is Ed, and welcome to a brand new pickup leftovers of the month. Yeah, it's been longer than a month, but hey, I got vintage toys, I got vintage games, and I got some new games to show you. So stick around. Once again, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We just reached 2,000 subscribers on the channel. I just sent out the prizes for the contest winners of the 1,500 subscribers thing. Maybe when we get to 2,500, I'll do another giveaway. So definitely keep subscribing. And if we're on the subject of subscribing anyways, I want you all to go over to Gamer Aimer's channel. She's uh, new to me. I didn't know about her before this, uh, but her channel's pretty cool. She does lots of pickups, but she picks up big stuff, you know, like big Nintendo lamps, vintage stuff, like the retro promotional things. So definitely a very cool channel. To go look at all our pickups and, you know, check it out. Leave a comment saying I sent you there all right I used to do like questions in this segment on the channel and I think I want to bring that back so my question to you guys is what was a console back in the day you were really psyched about but you never gotten for me it was the Dreamcast this gaming system got built up to the point where this is gonna be the best thing ever 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 and like nobody bought it of my friends or nobody got it from their parents uh, so I was like, oh, it's got like this tiny little screen in the controller. Um, it's it's going to be better than the PlayStation 1, which was like the big console back then. Um, so yeah, for me, there was a Dreamcast. Maybe you guys want to share your stories about which console you were hyped about, but you never got. Leave them down in the comments below. And let's get to some pickups. Now, it's summer and I do play in punk rock bands, so I go to lots of festivals. I play a couple of festivals and one of my viewers actually came over to me at a show and he was like, hey, this is for you. Uh, I think I actually have footage of him hopping up on stage during a song, so I'll be showing that during the talk over here. And then when we cut back to me, you will see what he gave me. And it's this freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sticker. Uh, pretty solid material. So, uh, Straka Saka or Saka? I, I actually, uh, that's like the name I, I know, Saka. So yeah, Saka, thanks so much for this sticker. I don't know where I'm gonna put it because you can only pop it on somewhere once I guess um, so anyways if you guys know where should I put this sticker uh, leave it down in the comments below all right so it's summer I also went on holiday with the family but uh, you know me I gotta go out and hunt for stuff so I went out to Games & Co in Ostenda which is uh, somewhere around the beach area where we always head over for our summer holiday and I usually hop in over there at the store and this time they had some cool stuff. Um, got over there, talked to Yarun, he's always nice, there were some other people there that seem to be there every time I head over to the store. Uh, and anyways I picked up two games, two vintage games or retro games if you want to call it that. Uh, first one is a box copy of Home Alone 2. Probably not a good game, but hey, this was only, what was it, 17 euros, I think? And uh, he knocked off too, so it was only 15, and that's great. Um, don't know about the game, but I love Home Alone 2, so I have to grab this one right here. Uh, another game I was looking for for the longest time, and about a year ago, I saw it. And my friend Renzo was like, I need that, and he was first. So now I finally picked up my own copy of Star Wars Episode One: The Battle for Naboo. Is it for Naboo? Yeah, it's for Naboo because I I usually say stuff wrong and then you guys comment it and I'm like, oh crap, I should have said that right. So this is Star Wars, The Battle of Naboo, and our Star Wars, um, not racing this time, but you know, you, you shoot around stuff. It's kind of like Star Fox, at least to me. Uh, I love it. And this is the hardest one to get, at least in Belgium, uh, if you're looking for PAL and 64 games. So glad to finally finish the Star Wars set for the N64 and at this one. Talking about festivals just a little bit earlier, I'm actually heading over to Brock Rock right now. This day I'm gonna check out Propagandy, Descendants, uh, and just a ton of other bands. Amateur Spoon Gentlemen. I'm here three seconds and everybody's playing games. Gotta play the games, man. Gotta play the games. <laughs> 
Um, next week I'm heading over to Slovenia because we have to play over there. I'm filling in on guitar for 4 a.m. Uh, and we're playing the punk rock holiday festival in Slovenia, which is pretty epic. Uh, is this a uh, big weekday festival so it goes from Monday to Friday you got no effects playing we're actually playing on the day no effects is playing it, you're in the woods but you're also next to a river so I'm hopefully gonna shoot a vlog over there or at least show you guys something in one of the next uh, videos I put up so we're just walking around away from the festival into the great unknown I just lost that again. Uh, anyway, so if you're over at Punk Rock Holiday, come and say hi. Uh, I'll be there on Thursday. Yeah, that's the only day. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, my daughter's birthday was a week ago, and a friend of mine, Leslie, who has been on the channel, not talking, but, you know, he's been in some of the hunting videos where... Uh, where, where I buy stuff off of him. Uh, so now I bought some more stuff off of him, but this time for my little kid. Um, she's pretty she's pretty heavily into My Little Pony, so when I saw him posting this up on Facebook, I was like, hey, I gotta get that, and I gotta get some more stuff. So yeah, this channel has gone brony uh, in just about a couple seconds. Uh, so this is a My Little Pony vintage carrying case from 1980. 85 Hasbro Corporation. Um, he threw in two uh, of the real My Little Ponies, one of the unicorn ones, and uh, this little pony sitting down. Um, honestly, I don't know too much about these ponies, but it's cool um, that my little kid gets to come along to the flea market now and she can look for ponies and I don't have to buy really expensive stuff then. <laughs> Anyways, Leslie, thanks so much for hooking me up with this for my little kid. Uh, he also threw in like a bunch of bootleg ponies, which he took now over to the seaside because they're on holiday again. I had to stay home and work. Um, so yeah, she's very glad with this. Thank you so much. He actually sent over a whole box with stuff. And uh, first thing in here is Brave Star. Uh, so yeah, a toy line I know not too much about, but uh, it's about cowboys and you can kind of make him like stick up his gun real fast. So that's a cool ad. I didn't have this one yet, but it's a toy line I wanted to start just looking for stuff for and it was like, hey, it's cheap, get it. So I got it. Ooh. I don't remember you saying you were gonna pop this in, but this is a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pen. Holy crap. Holy crap. Damn, this is cool. So, it's an actual pen? Awesome, man. <laughs> he knows I'm really into turtles, so thanks so much, Lily. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a street shark who got a haircut. <laughs> And he was like, you know, I'll, I'll sell it to you for two or three euros. Um, so yeah, got that one. Uh, I don't know his name, but it's it's a, one I didn't have yet. So um, just had to add him to the vintage toy collection. And what else is in here? Let's see. Let's see. Is there some more stuff in here? Ooh. What's this? All right, okay. Now, this is some cool stuff right here. Uh, over here, we got some of the Mario pins. They're actually pretty hard to find over here in Belgium. And usually, when you do find them, people know, and they'll ask like 10 euros or maybe five euros for these. Um, this one is, I guess, a more regular one of Mario with the hammer. But over here, we got the Nintendo Super Tour 92, which is one I haven't ever seen before. Um, so, kind of rare, I guess. Um, not sure if it's rare, but at least in my area it is. So, thanks so much for hooking me up with these two for, I think he has like four, three euros for that. Amazing. Uh, on to some new games. Uh, Switch has been killing my wallet lately. I just keep buying Switch games. <laughs> 
And uh, this month I added four new ones to the collection. So we're just gonna quickly swoop through these. I haven't really had time to play most of them. Uh, last game I bought was actually Hollow Knight. Um, at first this was digital only in Europe, I think. Um, and my buddy Jeff told me, hey, this is a great Metroidvania type of game. So if you're into that kind of gameplay and a really cool graphic design to the game, definitely check this one out. I can't wait to start playing this when we're driving 12 hours in a van to go to Slovenia to play a 30 minute set. Kind of makes it worth it if I get to play games for 10 hours straight, though. <laughs> Next up, we got Super Mario Maker 2. Down below in the description, you will find my Switch friend code ID. Just add me over there, and uh, I'll check out your levels. Um, last time this game came out, so the first one on the Wii U, I went kind of nuts. I think I spent like 500 hours on that one, uploading stuff, uh, you know, levels, and just playing levels, so... Uh, I haven't really cracked this one yet because I'm afraid the channel will die because I'll be playing this the whole time. <laughs> Next up, we got Bloodstained, uh, a pretty cool game, but at first it's like the same thing with all the new games, like they just hold your freaking hand like, oh, you need to do this now, you need to press this for that item. No, I just want to start a freaking game and play. Bloodstained, yeah. Okay, and lastly, we got Crash Team Racing. Oh yeah, uh, I don't own a PlayStation 4 or anything like that, so I just buy the remasters for Switch. That's why I got this one. Uh, I do have the original game on the PlayStation 1. I have played it back in the day, but I hope the controls are a bit smoother because I'm used to like Mario Kart stuff. Um, together with this, you know, Game Mania, they call you up and they're like, hey, you want to add this to, to your uh, pre-order for, for Crash Team Racing. I'm like, yeah, sure, more stuff. Send it over. And that's how I got this little silly night lamp. Um, you probably can't tell if it's lighting up now. But yeah, um, here's to saying yes to everything Game Mania asks me. And then on to some more stuff. Uh, it just started raining outside, which isn't good for the festival because it's outdoors a little bit later on today. Um, I got some stuff from Sam, a really big friend of mine. Uh, he was like, I have this stuff laying around. I don't really do anything with it, so you can have it. Um, first up is this little uh, orange kind of crystal thing. At first I was like, I don't know what this is. It, it, it kind of looked like the submarine Lego sets. Um, but no, I think it actually is supposed to go with Brave Star. So it's like the, the gold or the diamond stuff that they're looking for uh, within the cartoon. Uh, if anybody can confirm that down in the comments below, that would be great. Uh, so I'll make a close up of that thing. Uh, and then whatever stuff did he throw in, he threw in a Joker pin. <laughs> and he threw in some trading cards. Now, here's a Power Ranger pack uh, with a bubble gum in it. I have like the green ones and there's um, the mask trading cards. So, don't have these trading card packs. I kind of collect them, but just, you know, like one to have and, you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. People might think it's silly. Uh, we'll get to a big NES lot later. Uh, and lastly, I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Cutter from 2014. This was handed out when you would go over to the uh, the movie. Like, I think the first or the second movie. Uh, my buddy went over there and he was like the only one that went over there on a Tuesday for like the turtle day. So he got like everything, he got like a backpack and stuff. And this was in there. Uh, and he was like, yeah, I don't do anything with it. So now I got this Teenage, Min <laughs> Teenage Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Cutter. Uh, yeah, licensed from the movie. And it actually says so on the back. I think so too. Uh, no, no, it's, it doesn't say what it's from or anything, but yeah, cool to have. Cool, cool collector's item. And then we'll get to the last pickup of the day, which was actually a gift from my friend Fred, who I play with in The Rocket and our pop punk band. Uh, he was like looking over in his attic, um, 
And he sends me a picture and is like, hey, I found this crap. You want to get rid of it? I'm like, sure, sure. I'll, I'll take this stuff from you. And he actually gave me four boxed NES games. Uh, this is just a box for Turtles 2, the NTSC version, which is great because I need an upgrade for this one. We got Chippendale, an awesome game, and these boxes are in pretty good condition. So this one does have the game, and then we got two classics. We got Super Mario Brothers 2, and we got Super Mario Brothers 3. Also, great condition on these obviously great games um but i probably don't need to show you that you probably know this these are freaking amazing um and he actually sent also gave me something really cool which was this nasa um bootleg nes system so yeah you had a power button reset button it says nasa on it it's the entertainment computer system um you just put your game in there it's region free um, and you have to press on this thing to eject your game, so we can actually do that. So, you pop your game over in here, like that. Two, and then you can pop it out like this, I guess. And pop it out. There we go. Whoa. Uh, I was hoping it would fly out, but it didn't. <laughs> Okay, uh, well yeah, a little NASA thing. It came with two of these turbo card controllers. So yeah, more controllers. It's always nice. And these actually have turbo buttons on them. So that's cool. So Fred, thank you so much for hooking me up with this stuff. Uh, uh, you, you, you won't believe like um, how long it's been since I've found like NES games in the box at a flea market. So getting these is like, oh feels good again. I think I'm just addicted to Nintendo Cardboard, really. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this little video right here. I will see you next week in another video, and uh, maybe I'll see you in Slovenia. So yeah, see you later. Have a nice week, and um, cheerio!